My name is Jen. And I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. So if you've been following us and following the pregnancy series, then you know that we are in countdown mode. We are literally days away from meeting baby Jordan. Um, we are now five days away from our due date, and we thought that it would be a great time to reflect back on the best moments of pregnancy. So with that said, let's talk about it. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. Woo. They say in pregnancy that the, over the course of the nine months, it flies by so fast. So it's important to enjoy the process and mm -hmm. every moment of it. And what better way to do that is to reflect on some of the best moments of pregnancy. It's such a short stint that you have, you know, in your lifetime as a, as an expected mom. And it's very important to reflect back on those memories and rejoice on some of the great moments because in the blink of an eye, it goes by so fast. Amen. So as we reflect on our moments, we want you to reflect on your moments of pregnancy. Pregnancy. Wow. We are coming down to an end. We five days. Five days away. And, you know, we've been doing this for almost 10 months now because pregnancy is 10 months, 40 weeks. And how are you feeling? You know, now that we're reflecting back on it, what are some of your fondest or best moments of mm. pregnancy? I think hands down the my favorite memory from the nine months that you've been pregnant is the it's gender reveal. It's actually 10. Oh, 10 months. Okay, my bad. My bad. <laughs> um, I would say it's the gender reveal. Yeah. I think finding out the sex of our baby and popping that balloon. If you haven't seen the video, please go watch the video yeah. of the gender reveal. It was an incredible moment and we captured it. Of course, we got to document the entire experience. So yeah. I think that was my favorite moment because it was just, it was a shock. It was a surprise and we had been anticipating it for so long. Mm -hmm. So to get to that moment and then have the moment and have friends there and family mm -hmm. there to really appreciate the moment with us, it was just so beautiful. So yeah. I would say that was my number one. I would say second to that would be the baby shower, our baby shower that we threw. Yeah. Um, because once you hit the baby shower stage, things are really real. It's like we're really about to have a baby in a couple of months and we're preparing for it. We know the sex already and people are celebrating you. Mm -hmm. You're getting celebrated by friends and family and people are supporting you. And that's just a, a beautiful moment and, mm -hmm. and beautiful uh, for you and your spouse or you and your partner to share such a important moment and be able to look back on it years down the line and say, wow, these are the people that were here to support me. And this is my, this is her at six months, seven months, whenever you have the baby shower. Right. So I would say those are my two favorite and mm -hmm. I could probably dive into some more, but before well, I, it is called best moments. <laughs> yeah. But before that, I want to ask you, what was your best moments? Okay. And I mean, if you have some of the same ones, yeah. that's fine too. But No, those were definitely like, I mean, the baby shower and the gender reveal, those were some of the best moments yeah, of pregnancy. I mean, so, you know, for us and for me personally, I can't reflect back on a best moment through our pregnancy and not think of those two experiences. Right. Because those ones are was, easy ones. Yeah, those were the, you know, easy ones. But, you know, I've learned to enjoy some of the smaller moments as well mm -hmm. and definitely feeling Jordan flutter for yeah. the first time wow. was such an amazing moment because I always thought that I would be grossed out by you know feeling a baby move around because that's just how I, I've always felt I just thought that it would like be weird and I not like really like it because not all moms are like naturally just feel like okay this is this is what i want to feel you know mm -hmm. it's it's life growing inside of you so it is a little weird yeah um so i thought that i was not gonna really like that but when it first happened i remember we were in bed <laughs> at first i was like wait is it gas <laughs> but i'm like i'm not gassy so it's not gas and i felt it go like blah, blah, and i was like oh oh my god yeah and then i tried to get you to feel it but it was too soon in the pregnancy to where i could feel it but you couldn't feel it you yeah was too small. Oh, wow. so that was a moment that really stood out and oh, it just goodness. really connected me to him more i mm -hmm. felt like like i said i thought it was going to be weird but it was more of a it was more of an emotional yeah and spiritual connection it, because yeah, no, huh? it was like me <laughs> i already knew that i had a baby growing inside of me but that kind of gave that 
added confirmation right. that this is your child. You can actually mm-hmm. feel your child now. And when did you feel that first ah. flutter? The first flutter was on... How many weeks? I was 17 weeks pregnant. 17 weeks. 17 and you, weeks pregnant. I remember you wanted me to feel the flutters too so bad in the yeah. first couple of times I kept you saying, felt Pew. it. Here, but, give me your hand. <laughs> but I couldn't feel it for the first couple of weeks, but... Now, I mean, now that you're in the third trimester, I mean, it's like every five it's minutes. Time. It's f- every five minutes that that belly is moving. He's wiggling around. <laughs> and he's, I mean, he doesn't have any room at this point. I know. So, um, <laughs> um, so, so definitely yeah. that. And, you know, I wrote it down in um, my pregnancy journal. So that's something that I'll always remember. And it was it was a great moment because it it gave it allowed for that additional like bonding between me and Jordan. Right. And it gave me that confirmation that like, this is my son and you know, hello, I acknowledge you, you acknowledge me. So that for sure. Oh, taking it, taking it back as well. The sonogram. Oh yeah. The sonograms. I mean, it is amazing what technology can do nowadays because when we first, when we got our very first sonogram, he was literally the size of a jelly bean mm-hmm. and he just looked like a glob. It was yeah. like, we knew, like we found out, we got the news that, you know, I was pregnant, we were expecting and we got the first sonogram and we heard the heartbeat and we're like, all right, this is real. The pregnancy test didn't lie. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, um, all right, it is. Here we go. It's go time. It was and funny because the first sonogram picture, I think like it was the size of a jelly bean like the yeah. arms and the legs haven't even formed yet yeah no. so it was weird it was like it was just like this floating like it? blob it was <laughs> just like what is that but the heartbeat was so strong but they tell him about two weeks later that's what i next- was gonna say yeah and then two weeks later we went back because we you know we've talked about this in an earlier video we had a pregnancy scare and so we went back to get imaging done to make sure i was okay make sure the baby's okay and he was in there chilling. I mean, he, so much had developed in mm-hmm. two weeks. Like his arms had formed, his legs had formed. I mean, he had his legs hiked up, hands behind his head. Yeah. It was just like that right there. When I saw that that image, we were just like, wow, that is our child. Yeah. And, you know, we, we held on to all of his sonograms, but that one we have as the cover of mm-hmm. it for the pregnancy journal. Mm-hmm. And that was such a good moment because we both looked at each other and was just like, oh my goodness, like that is our baby. And at that point, we obviously didn't know the gender. But the way he was hiked up, it was kind of like, that might be a boy. That's a boy. And he kind of like lays like how you lay in the bed. <laughs> so I was like, I think that might be a boy. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, no, the sonograms was definitely one of my favorite moments. And I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. Um, As you're talking, I'm thinking about some of the other great moments of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And I would say here in the third trimester, just recently, putting all the stuff together, putting the crib together, putting Mm -hmm. the stroller together, Mm -hmm. putting the bouncy uh, thing. What what is it? (laughs) The rocker. The rocker. The putting the rocker. (laughs) The swing set. The swing set. See, I'm still a a new dad in (laughs) in the making, so I don't know all the terminology. It's all good. But um, putting all these items together, it really puts you in the mindset like this is really about to happen mm-hmm. any day now. And, you know, seeing the crib, you know, in the house. The crib yeah. has finally come. It just come. gives you that excitement to say, wow, there's going to be a baby. Bob the Builder who? So I think um, <laughs> that gives me some fulfillment to say, for man, sure. like I I put all this stuff together for our baby boy. And that's mm-hmm. uh, that's beautiful. So I would say that's one of my favorite moments as well. Yeah, and it's it's I think also too, like you said, knowing when you see your son in that and you see him so comfortable and like swinging and resting and all of that, and knowing that your hands put that together mm-hmm. to make sure that he's comfortable yeah. and he's secure and he's safe, and I think that's a, a feeling that, like you said, it's a feeling of fulfillment, and mm-hmm. it's like wow, I did that for my son, and look at him, and he's resting so peacefully, mm-hmm. or he's screaming so loudly <laughs> in this bed or crib that I constructed, and it feels good, yeah. you know, it, it feels really good, and these are these are moments that we will always cherish, and very appreciative of it because it goes by so fast, and sometimes you look up and it's just like, wow, where did the time right. go? At least I, I even feel like that. With the pregnancy now, I feel like I blinked and we are in the third trimester. I will say now I'm a little more restless 
and I'm just ready to meet him. It's right. more so of just like, yeah, and all, you know, I'm sure a lot of the moms can relate to this um, or moms to be. We are finally it gets really done. Done. The last like month. And so I'm at a point where I'm just uncomfortable and I'm the first ready look. to have the baby, but I'm also at the crib. impatient because right. everything is set up and it's been constructed. Yeah. And, you know, we so, have what we need, and it's just like, I just want you to get here. Yeah. So do you have any other moments? So I'm sure I have other moments, but I, I, can't, I can't think of them. Oh, yes, I do. What the heck? When we did an impromptu photo shoot. Oh, yeah. That was really nice. You know, we got some really good pictures out of it. Yeah. And you actually did it. You set up because, you yeah. know, you do a little photography on the side. Uh-huh. And you set up the backdrop. And we did them here in the apartment. Yeah. And it, they turned out really nice. We were able to get some, some beautiful shots. And, and that was such a nice moment because when we do, you like to create, um, if y'all don't know this about the hubby over here, he loves photos capturing the moment he's more of a social media person than i am <laughs> so a lot of the moments that we have throughout the course of our relationship it's definitely kudos and thanks to him because uh -huh. he captures all of that stuff and i remember i think i was in a funk or something because i wasn't like i nothing was fitting and mm -hmm. i just didn't feel like very pretty that week or something i don't know and you're like you look amazing let's still do this photo shoot and you, we did, and you got some really beautiful pictures. And those are moments that Jordan will be able to look back on when he's older and can see photos of him when he was still in, you know, mom's belly. Yeah. And just to see the love and the connection between us as well in those pictures. Right. And that's exactly what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. I was going to mention, like, those are timeless photos. Those are those are moments that yes we are enjoying it in the in the present yeah but it's something that we can enjoy 10 20 30 years down the exactly. line and say wow this was this was jordan before he was here yeah in your belly mm -hmm. so i think you hit it right on the head yeah um and i think you know there's so many other moments we could mm -hmm. touch on but we can recap some of the best moments what we just said so mm -hmm. What I said was, of course, the baby shower mm -hmm. and the gender reveal. Yes. And then you said. And then I said, um, feeling the baby flutter or move for the first time. Those sonogram pictures. The second one, for sure, with his legs kicked up. Yeah. And our maternity photo shoot. Those yeah, some all really great moments. moments. And I'm going to throw one additional one in there. Okay. The hospital tour. I would say the hospital yes. tour was a lot of fun, too, because... That really, we got to see the room mm -hmm. or one of the rooms where we're going to have. Oh, both of the rooms. Yeah, we yeah. got to see where we're going to deliver the baby. And then also the next two days where we're going to be stored up, you know. For postpartum for care post -partum and recovery. Care. And yeah. So I think that was a special moment, too, because that made it that much more real. Yeah, meeting the nurses and just being in the labor and delivery unit and how that whole process works. It was just like, it just each each experience and event like surely slowly but surely confirms his arrival and right. it's like we're getting closer and closer and that i've totally forgot about that yeah, yeah that was that was a good experience so we say these moments and we're bringing up some of our favorite moments so that we can hopefully share them with you so that you can think about some of your favorite moments and mm -hmm. also if you didn't or if, you, if you're in the process of doing a gender reveal or a baby shower and you're like, ah, I don't really want to do it, I, we definitely would suggest go ahead and do all of that stuff. Do the, do the photo shoot. Do the mm -hmm. things that you don't necessarily have to do. Like, of course, you got to put the crib together and you got to, you know, get the stroller together right. and all that stuff. But some of these, some of these extracurricular activities that like the baby shower and the gender reveal you don't have to do it but we would recommend for sure yeah. because it's some of our favorite moments mm -hmm. so if you are in that stage of doing that go ahead and plan it out do mm -hmm. it because you'll look back on it 10 20 years down the line and be like man that was an incredible time yes. incredible moment so yeah. we want to share our moments so we can hopefully inspire you along the way yeah, and if you have some moments that you want to share with us, drop a comment below. Mm -hmm. um, we love to engage and chat with everyone and share this video if you like. And don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel. Yep, it helps the algorithm, the YouTube <laughs> al algorithm. So help us out by liking, subscribing, and tuning in. 
So my name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And this is The Yambors. Bye, everyone. And remember to find joy in the journey. Peace. So conversations like this, I think, are super important because as new parents, we have to really evaluate ourselves and us as a couple.